When we talk about combat rolls, we're talking about dealing with unexpected flips in white water. The first thing to know about combat rolls is that if you have a reliable flat water roll, there's no reason that you can't roll in white water. The trick is controlling your mental game, going through the motions, and not rushing things. Of course, this is a lot easier said than done. One of the best ways to develop your mental game is to practice flipping and rolling in light, deep current. Aside from the mental game, there are a few other things to know about combat rolls. Before talking about the roll, it's worth mentioning that even with a good roll, you can't expect not to swim every once in a while. Even though it should be your last resort, sometimes you just won't have a choice. And when it does come time to swimming, you don't want to wait until you're spent before pulling, the, pulling your skirt and popping out of your boat, because you need to have the energy to swim yourself to safety. Another safety issue worth mentioning is how to protect yourself from rocks when you're underwater. Your setup position will help protect you once you're there, but it's getting into that setup position that leaves you vulnerable, especially if you flip leaning backward. The trick to staying protected is to swing your body out to the side and into your setup position so that your head and body stay as close to the surface as possible. You can also use your arms and paddle to create a protective cage around you, just like a boxer protects themselves with their hands and arms. Now looking at the different situations that you'll find yourself in, the most difficult place to roll is on an eddy line because the current is unpredictable. It can make it difficult to get your paddle in a good setup position or to get good support from it. If you find yourself upside down on a neti line and are having trouble rolling, you're best off relaxing and waiting a few seconds. Unless you're on a really powerful eddy line, you'll usually get washed downstream where things will mellow out. Rolling in the main current is generally pretty straightforward. If you think about it, when you're floating in current, you're moving at the same speed as the water, which means that relative to your kayak, the water is effectively still. Waves can complicate things a little bit, especially if they're breaking it's generally easier to roll up on your downstream side. Rolling in holes can present a neat challenge. First of all, you don't have a choice. You need to roll on the downstream side. If this ends up being on your onside, rolling can be really easy because during the catch phase of your roll, your paddle will catch the water that's going underneath the foam pile of the hole. And that can give you an incredible amount of support. Of course, you don't always get to decide which way you'll be upside down in a hole which is why it's a good idea to develop your offside role, especially if you plan on playing in holes.